What's going on, everyone? ChristianPickDogs.com here with your free pick in the UNLV versus Kansas college football matchup going down Tuesday, December 26, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between UNLV and Kansas and uh, you know, an interesting matchup here for the guaranteed rate bowl. As you got UNLV coming in nine and four on the year, ten and three against the number, um, losing to Boise State in the Mountain West Championship game, forty-four to twenty. While uh, Kansas comes in forty-nine sixteen winners after their last matchup. Like I said, eight and four on the year, seven and five against the number. And Kansas, you know, it was another solid year under Lance Leopold. There's, there's no denying that. Um, and maybe Kansas, the team we're going to have to watch going forward into the future. In Big 12 football, now we have to do our due diligence here. Sorry, my nose is a little bit itchy. Um, we got to do our due diligence here and just keep checking the, the transfer portal because in today's day and age of the transfer portal and where it is, you got to kind of keep uh, keep tabs on pretty much where everything uh, where everything stands. Now, let's look at Kansas. I mean, you know, they had their offensive coordinator uh, Andy Kotelnicki. He took the job at Penn State. Uh, you have Dominic Pune on the offensive line. He's opted out. You've had a couple of key pieces in the transfer portal, not necessarily uh, integral pieces, but Tanaka Scott out of the wide receiver corner, Will Huggins, a tight end. Didn't see a ton of action, but they're in the portal. Defensive lineman Gage Keys in the portal as well. Um, injuries are key for Kansas. You have two offensive linemen that have seen a ton of action this year. Um, Bryce Cavaldew, he missed the final regular season game. Uh, Michael Ford Jr. Uh, left the final game of the season with an injury. So you're down, you know, you're starting right tackle. Your starting offensive guard, if they're, excuse me, I should say, you could be down your starting right tackle, starting offensive guard. You will be without your starting left tackle. And you're missing a defensive lineman, in Austin Booker, that had eight sacks. He's not traveling with the team to the bowl game. On the other side of the coin, UNLV, they've got some pieces in the transfer portal as well. Safety Cameron Jenkins, he's in the portal. Courtney Reese, running back, saw a fair bit of action. Now, the, the big question for, for UNLV was Jordan Mayaba. Was he going to play? And, um... I believe, you know, that's actually Jaden Mayava that's going to be playing for UNLV. Um, uh, excuse me. There's a BYU quarterback of the same last name that was entering the transfer portal. So it's thrown a lot of stuff into uh, into question here. But it is, in fact, Jaden Mayava that's playing for UNLV. So if, if there's ever any confusion or if there's some confusion that's still going on, UNLV's quarterback, Jaden Mayava, is still going to be with the team. It is Jordan Mayava from BYU that has decided to transfer out. So UNLV's situation is just a lot more solid than I think a lot of people were, were making it out to be um, over the last few weeks. Also for UNLV injury to starting safety, Jet Elad. He didn't play in the conference championship game. Interesting to see if he'll, he will play here. But the thing for me in this game is that, you know, you had a Kansas defense that, you know, had seen its fair share of hiccups over the course of the regular season. Now, UNLV, solid in terms of moving the football. They can move the ball on the ground, and they like to run the football. They're top 30 in rushing attempts, top 40 in uh, rushing yards per game, and Kansas, 96th uh, nationally in terms of rush defense. Their defense, they're uh, decent against the pass. Like I said, this is a fairly rush-heavy UNLV offense that scored a ton of rushing touchdowns this season. So I look for UNLV to be able to get theirs. Now, Kansas, I think, can be able to put up some points in this matchup against what was a fairly porous uh, UNLV rush defense as well. You, Kansas doesn't like to rush the ball as much as UNLV does, but they still do prefer to run the football. And their top 10 rush offense, top 10 in yards per carry, going up against a UNLV defense that's 96th in total defense, 103rd in yards per play, 90th in, in rush defense, 80th in yards per carry allowed. So I think two teams are going to be able to run, get explosive plays all day in this matchup. And uh, I look for, for this to be a high-scoring game. But I think that it's going to be a track meet. I think UNLV has a shot to keep themselves in this game. I think it's a 7-10 to point game at most. Maybe something like a 45-38 to kind of game here. So I'm going to go with UNLV plus the 12.5. And, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are your pick dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here. Pick dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.